So, okay, some additional items to consider. Uh, what is the relationship between the floors? Uh, well, we started to say that the stairs and the elevators better align. Uh, I sure hope the stairs and the elevator align because it doesn't really make sense otherwise. Uh, and that the first floor is always going to be bigger than the second floor. It's okay if the second floor is exactly the same size as the first floor, but it's unlikely. You're probably going to make it so the second floor is actually smaller than the first floor. Um, that's the only thing that matters in terms of relationship. Uh, the, there, there is no other element that runs back and forth. It's just the stairs and the elevator align and that the uh, second floor fits onto the first floor. Um, should I erase the walls between the corridor, uh, different corridor parts? When you, when you do different parts of corridors, you know, you'll, you'll do one that's like that and then I'll do another one that's like that. Um, yes, you have to erase out that, that wall to make that into one corridor. Uh, and also to the lobby space as well. What rooms get windows? Uh, you're only required to put windows where they specifically have called them out, uh, so you don't need to add any others. You can if you want, but um, I wouldn't go out of my way to add any uh, really large number of extra windows if they haven't specifically asked you to, because you know it's just one more place for something to go wrong. Do doors and windows need to be in any pattern? Kind of got typos all over the place here, sorry about that, pattern. Uh, no, the windows and doors do not need to align. Uh, this is not a design exercise. It, they do not need to, you don't need to have the second floor windows line up with the first floor windows. Don't bother even thinking about it. Uh, and then, uh, how do you place rooms next to each other? Um, well, first thing you're going to do is you're going to put them next to each other, you're going to align them uh, without overlapping them, and you're going to then check it by using the check tool, which will turn them red if they uh, are not, uh, if they're too much overlapped or if they're too far apart from each other. So use the, the advantages of this fairly simple program. We have a couple questions here. Um, let's see, we have a question from, uh, from Dan is asking, do, do stair dimensions matter? As in, do, you, you know, do we need to approximate the amount of uh, risers, rise and run, ma minimum stair widths? And then secondly, from Jonathan, can you put windows on the interior when the program asks for a visual connection between rooms? Yes, you can put windows on the interior. Um, I wouldn't actually, because I think most of the time you can do it with doors, uh, and the doors will answer the, the issue, and then you're not doing an extra thing. You already have to put a door in, so you might as well just do it with doors, but you can put windows in in those specific situations. Regarding the stairs, yeah, the stairs, I would always do the stairs as, um, it's gonna be 200 square foot per, I would, I would do it as a uh, uh, 10 by 20 box, um, and, because I know that will work as a stair. Uh, I don't really need to think about it. Um, however, there is nobody, nobody is going to look at this and go through and figure out whether your stair works. So if you did the stair as a square, okay, that's fine. Uh, it's not gonna matter as long as it's the right square footage. Uh, nobody is checking to see if you could figure out how to get, how many risers you could get. Um, there is a stair vignette and that's where they do that. Um, so the reason though that I suggest actually doing it in a shape that looks like a stair is that it'll visually jump out as a stair for you when you're doing your planning. So you're, again, you're making these things um, uh, work to your advantage, right? That it looks like a stair, um, but it, it, that's the only reason. It's not because uh, anybody's looking to check that. Um, so here's a couple, uh, uh, this is a passing example of, of one, um, and you can look on the, uh, when you go back through this thing later, you can go and, and look through this a little more closely, but uh, you get a sense of, there's the pass-through of the doors, going for, through the stairs, I have a stair at one end and then a stair uh, at the other end, um, everything seems to sort of be uh, working fairly simply. Um, it's nice and ordered. Uh, you can see that the first floor is more dense than the second floor, just like we said. Um, in this case, there's the big room. Uh, there's the open to below version of the big room. Everything seems to be sort of working um, at uh, reasonable advantages. Uh, we look at a failing example, uh, and now you can start seeing there's lots of little kinds of, uh, of mistakes. There's rooms that don't connect directly to the corridor, so they have to go through another room. That's a no-no. Uh, the uh, dead-end corridors start showing up. Um, there's just a bunch of little mistakes that start happening. And one that's sort of worth pointing out is that this room and this room were supposed to, so that's, that room is supposed to be visually controlled from this room. 
but obviously you can't see around a corner, right? So that doesn't count as visually, visual control. Uh, that room probably should have been right here.